Assalamu alaikum welcome back on Rati Education Academy YouTube channel in this video I will share test sample paper of English portion for the entry test of the Begum Nusrat Bhutto Women University Sakhar first of all these topics are covered in the sample paper you may get preparation accordingly one word substitute three questions antonyms two questions synonyms two questions analogies one question sentence structure three question idioms two question conditional sentence one parts of speech two preposition pair of words and phrasal words so these topics are more important for preparation at least you must cover these topics in english portion for the entry test of Begum Nusrat Bhutto Women University. Question number one, government run by a single person is called A. Democracy B. Communism C. Autocracy D. None and the right option is C. Autocracy. Question number two, find the analogy slap stick laughter. Slap stick is like a joke and it results in laughter. So the right option is here D horror fair. Question number three what is the antonym of inconsistent A courageous B sincere C steadfast D humble and the right option is C steadfast. Question number five what is the antonyms of stringent and the right option is B lenient. What is the synonym of gruesome? A. Tragic B. Frightful C. Hateful D. Painful And the right option is B. Frightful What is the synonym of lethargy? A. Listlessness B. Fatigue C. Serenity D. Impassivity And the right option is A. Listlessness the research study is an eye-opener and dash us with the problems of poor nations. A. Attempt to account. B. Attempts at accounting. C. Attempting to account. D. Attempted to account. Here it is in present simple tense so it will be B. Attempts at accounting. Is the right option here? My doctor knew that I would eventually recover and do kind of work dash before. A. Would have been doing. B. Would have done. C. Had been done. D. Had been doing. And the right option is D. Had been doing. Dash me about your problem. I would have helped you. A. If you have told. B. Had you told. C. If you would have told. D. Have you had told. And the right option is. A. If you have told. If you have told me about your problem, I would have helped you. This is the right sentence. Upon the inquiry, I found out that I had dashed the car. A. Mistaken. B. Mistook. C. Mistake. D. Mistakenly. And the right option is. A. Upon the inquiry, I found out that I had mistaken the car. He parted dash his family in high spirit. A. From. B. With. C. Of. D. Of. And the right option is. A. From. He parted from his family in high spirits. Pick out the most appropriate pair to fill in the blanks in the same order to make the sentence meaningfully complete. When it comes to bake stabbing, a coil dash B dash then a dagger. A must better, B will superior, C can deadlier, D may sharp. The right option is C can deadlier. When it comes to bake stabbing, a coil can be Deadlier than a dagger. The debate was dashed the following week. A. Adjourned with. B. Adjourned for. C. Adjourned into. D. Adjourned to. And the right option is. D. 
the debate was adjourned to the following week honesty is the best policy the abstract noun here would be a honesty b best c policy and the right option is a honesty ali is bright student the word student in the sentence is a collective noun b common noun c proper noun d abstract noun and the right option is b common noun if you have finger in the pie you are dash in something a involved b disinterested c puzzled d none and the right option is a involved if you have finger in the pie you are involved in something running cats and dogs means a running very heavily b easy option c very rarely one who presents a counter argument and the right option is a running very heavily running cats and dogs means running very heavily choose the appropriate word for one who is not sure about god existence a agnostic b ascetic c bohemian d arbitrator and the right option is a agnostic one who is not sure about god's existence is called agnostic someone attentive and concerned about details a fastidious b sloppy c reckless d careless and the right option is fastidious someone who is attentive and concerned about details is called fastidious if you want to get information about admission scholarship and job preparation and also want to prepare for these things subscribe to the educational academy and share it with others thank you